Hey everyone, Swamp Fox here. We're going over to the next part of the Sojourner achievement, the Wild Camp. We get to talk to the uh, Anari, Anari. I think that's what they're called. I want to know why that snail's name is Bear. Anyway, tense recovery. You carry your torch, you light the city. My sister means everything to me, but it'll be worse for her if we are kicked out of this camp for giving offense. What is this place? I scarcely know myself. It was deserted when we arrived, save for a variety of wildlife that are taking shelter here. Two of the camp's inhabitants showed up shortly after we did. They didn't ask us to leave, but didn't really speak to us either. They simply returned to their duties. All this wild growth this far underground, I don't understand it all, but the area is a soothing respite from Nerubian attacks at least. Tense recovery. Things with these strangers are tense. We do appreciate being allowed to take cover here in their camp, but they only seem to tolerate us at best. We offered to share our supplies, but they uh, uh, that offended them somehow. My sister is gravely wounded. I can see... Uh, herbs I could use to help her in that tent over there, but that giant snail is blocking the entrance. I can't get to them. I asked the guard on the hill for aid, but all he did was glare. I don't know what to do. Perhaps he'll listen to you? When the star shifts, seek shelter. Stranger. On here? Steadfastly ignores your presence. It seems like things are strained between you and the Arathi. What can they do? Ohia gives you a cold, steady stare, then returns the kids to the camp below. Okay, do then. Not return. <laughs> Nuka? This mouse is taking care of not to damage anything in the camp, as if it belongs here. You are strange to me. Your eyes are full of questions, stranger. Seems like things are strained between you and the Arathi. Strained? Strange. We have welcomed them into our haven of safety. It is true they do not understand us. We have ways that are private and sacred. I suspect that is true of you as well. I cannot tell you more, but if you wish to understand us even a little, you will have to learn from another. A root ancient is not bound by the same rules as we. If you find one, perhaps they will ease your mind and offer enlightenment. I'll find an ancient. Go now. Please. Yeah, it's just those two. How far away is this? Oh, you would have gotten a brown crumb quest called Beneath the Roots from something. I don't know what, but... Gohi? Uhi? You are not unwelcome, stranger. I am the last. Oh, shit. Ancient Respite. This was once a great lake. Over time, the roots ruptured its floor and drained the water away. I have lived here for all of my time and witnessed it all, but now darker changes have come. Sometimes changes come with death. Decay is natural. But the mites that feed upon my people, they are not. They spread an odd infestation that makes my bark feel like it crawls from my body. Destroy these mites so that I may rest without fear of their mouths upon my sleeping form. Intended, but also not.
It is quiet. Perhaps I will rest now with my people. Rings of memory. I appreciate what you have done. Do not worry. I am not finished yet. If you please, take this route to those who sent you. They can read the history of my life within the rings of wood therein. My life is one of many in the tapestry, but we are all intertwined. These strangers you encountered may be reclusive, secretive even, but they understand this tapestry like no other. Guard it with their lives. So is he going to die? That's kind of sad. I just saved him. I do not know you. To find the ancients? Do not return. Though he stranger. sent this route, yet was still alive. I understand. His story, his story, his story is safe with us. Go now. Open please. communications. You understand that others lead lives different to you, to your own. Our ways restrict us. Our traditions are not for the ears of strangers. I have only spoken to you, at all, due to Orwenya's word. But I can feel own Ia's disapproval from here. It is uncomfortable to have mysteries at times. It is why so many fear the dark. It is unknown. I know I must seem cryptic, but our ways do not mean we are offended by the Arathi. They are creating tension where it does not exist for us. Okay. Do not return, stranger. What was that route, though? Step into the light. Wait, what? They aren't offended? I was so afraid of making things worse. Well, in that case, will you ask the creature to move and I'll take the herbs I need? Stay productive in the light, vigilant in the night. Creature is resting, but doesn't seem deeply asleep. Uh, excuse me, we need some herbs behind you. Do you mind moving? I bet you that's uh, one of the ha a near just you know in snail form. Outsider. Beware the I can't believe this was just a simple misunderstanding. I shouldn't have made assumptions. Thank you for easing my mind and for helping my sister. For the Empire. Or near. That's it. Yeah, I suppose that is a start. Yeah, I bet that. I bet that cat. Sacred flame, guide your way, friend. I have a feeling things will be looking brighter. I'm glad to have day back. My sisters may be healed, but still needs rest. As for the Harinir, we will continue to watch our step and offer what we can. They do not need supplies. Perhaps use of our transports would be appreciated instead. They deserve to be properly thanked for allowing us to stay. The flame burns for all of us. They do. 